Dixis DBI's brother Panther. I've got a database here I've been monitoring. I'm going to do a response time analysis for this database. And what I see here is for the last eight hours, not much going on. I actually want to look uh, at the entire week. So I'm going to look at the performance of this database for the week. And I've got a quarter second response time. 85% of that time is inside the database. And the database uh, is a little bit more I.O. bound than CPU bound. I'm going to click on that I.O. pie slice. And Brother Panther just did the analysis to find the statements that are causing that database to be I.O. bound. So right there, I've got about two-thirds of all the I.O. in the database tied up in these four statements. I can pass those as a workload to the design advisor and apply DBI's advanced index benefit analysis methodology. So here's an I.O. bound database, two-thirds of all the I.O. in four statements. We're waiting for the answer here. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Oh, outstanding. And we can see we're going to get from 374,000 time runs down to 116 for a 99% improvement. Here's the indexes that we have the opportunity to create. And we can see the benefit of each of these indexes. If we add this first index, we'll get 49% of that savings. If we add this second index, we get 46% of that savings. And if we add this third index, well, that's not a very big contributor to all that savings. So I take these uh, first two, that's the bulk of my savings, click on create. There they are in my editor, I'm ready to go. And just like that, in, in about a minute, I just took two-thirds of the I.O. out of an I.O. bound database. Isn't that easy? Yes, it is. Hi, my name is Thomas Helge, and I'm going, uh, my topic today is about table partitioning on DB2 on C. In modern DB2 databases on mainframe, as well as other platforms, many tables are growing too large to manage, and queries on those tables are taking too long to execute. If this is your experience, you should consider partitioning your t large tables. In my opinion, you should look at all tables that have 5 million or more records and consider partitioning them. Very large uh, non-partition tables that needs to be reorganized or its statistics updated consume its size in a sort file and or shadow, shadow files. In some ca uh, cases, tables are bigger and, than available free space on disks. Reorganization such large tables takes a lot of time, a lot of CPU, and can have undesirable results uh, to large number of users in the switch phase if that fails. In other cases, tables are too large that reorg will take longer time than defined by the service level objectives. Table partitioning is data organization scheme scheme to divide large quantity of data into multiple data storage or partitions that are more easily manageable. In fact, the whole purpose of table partitioning is to divide the data into smaller and more manageable data units that can eliminate reorganization needs on certain parts of your data and therefore shortens reorganization time as well as it speeds up inserts, updates, deletes, and queries execution time, which on regular tables becomes slower and slower as the data in the table grows. Unloading and loading of data becomes easier and faster as well. Uh, in DB2 and C, you have, as of version 10, two types of partitioning, partition by growth and range partitioning. Partitioning by growth gives you the ability to partition the table as the data grows and is useful where the data is expected to grow beyond 64 gigabyte table space limit and you have no suitable partitioning key for that table. Range partitioning, however, is the most commonly used table partitioning 
as the method gives you more control or over how the data is spread across the partitions. Range partitioning <coughs> is the most commonly used partitioning method, and uh, next slide please, uh, and gives you the greater control on how data is distributed and ranged uh, and managed across partitions. Uh, this method also gives the optimizer greater ability to use partition pruning, partition elimination, and query parallelism. Next slide, please. Martin, there we go. Martin? Yeah, next. I did it. I did it. I'm on it. And the next one. Uh, <laughs> the when next you design one range, I think. Uh, yeah. When you design a range partition table, you will first need to gather and analyze all the SQL queries, inserts, updates, and delete statements to determine common columns of in the current workload of the table you are considering to migrate. The most important factor to look at when designing a partition table and choosing the partitioning key is the table statistics and the statistical distribution of the data. The statistical distribution of the data gives you a clear vision on how you can divide the data. Look at the column cardinality of the table, execute several group by SQL queries to determine that uh, what columns gives you the most evenly distribution of data and compare the queries to see how X number of them would be distributed across the par partitions. Each partition should hold as close to a similar amount of data to evenly distribute it across partitions for optimal performance and maintenance. Note that you must also make sure to, avo to avoid creating hotspot partitions as much as possible. Make sure that indexes have subsets of the partitioning key and have them partitioned as well. Next slide. What you gain by using range partitioning is first and foremost shorter elapsed times of SQL queries, insert update and deletes where partition pruning, partition elimination is used and query parallelism can be forced to be invoked by the optimizer. And as you know, shorter elapsed times usually means lower CPU. Locking will be distributed as cross partitions and can eliminate certain locking hotspot scenarios. By partitioning a large table, you're able to run, run stats and reorgs on part of the data that really needs reorganization or update on, st on its statistics in fraction of the time it would take on a whole table with more efficient resource usage in shadow files and sorts. It makes sense not to reorganize data that does not need to. And that is my final word. Thank you for listening. Fantastic. We, we had uh, only one slide flipping issue. And, and there's... <laughs> And there's still 56 yeah. seconds left on the duck, so the, the the duck was just getting near the stage here. You had, you had <laughs> time left. That's and and the graphics were very good. And you're all the way from Iceland. This is wonderful. <laughs> I like that presentation, Martin. Uh, since you were flipping the slides, what did you think? 